Welcome back to Nancy Drew and the mystery of the Clue Bender Society. I am trying to get Nancy out of a corner here. There she is. She's gone out of the corner. Okay, so she's trying to find a key so she can use this boat to reach the lighthouse because she has decided the lighthouse contains a dead person. I assume you've deduced the boat belongs to me, in which case you've deduced correctly. Arthur Conan Doyle is my name. You are Nancy. Nancy Drew. Pleasure, Nancy. I seem to have misplaced my cat, Watson. Have a nice day. I'd be glad to help you find him. I know how to find cats. Thank you very much, Nancy. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Well, okay, now we've got a Sherlock Holmes character. Okay, Sherlock Holmes is a Nancy Drew. Awesome. I can handle this, and uh, just like before, it looks like you had me to tap on the stump to get a cat to appear. Watson, good kitty. Now let's go back to uh, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. He's the guy who wrote the Sherlock Holmes series. So, perhaps you'd like money. Well, I don't need money at the moment, but I do need to go to the lighthouse. It's urgent. Here, use my boat. The key to his motorboat. I'd better hold on to this in case I need it later. Later? You mean like right now, Nancy? Because it's it's right over here. Yeah, so basically what happened was Nancy got a, a, a message. I need a key to start. Nancy, you have a key. Okay, so um, uh, just tap on the button and then Nancy goes off. Oh, this is just like the snowmobiling challenge. But no, no, no. Uh, I was trying to summarize what happened in the last video. Nancy saw that uh, Rachel was sending a message to her dad. And this caused Nancy to believe that the dead Dr. Armstrong is in the lighthouse. Like, he went to the lighthouse and never came back. Maybe he's still alive. I don't know. I don't know how she came to that conclusion after reading a message from Rachel's father, which had nothing to do with Dr. Armstrong or the lighthouse. In fact, it was very much unrelated, but here we go. Oh no, we have to do this challenge again. Um, okay. Maybe, maybe this game, maybe this will be easy for us, and we need to make this symbol. No, no, okay, so we're not making the symbol on the door. Yeah, I don't know what symbol I'm trying to make here. Okay, everyone, looked up the solution. The solution is an eight. No idea how you're supposed to know that's an eight. Maybe there was a hidden clue I missed somewhere. Anyway, let's see. Is Dr. Armstrong here? Is he still alive? <gasps> oh, he's dead. Yeah, okay, so the dead guy is dead. Nowhere to hide, Hollister. Physician, heal thyself. We should call the police. This seems dangerous. This, this seems really, really dangerous. This does not seem to be the sort of mystery a, a teenage... What, what's this? Here we go. Okay, it looks like I need to find clues. One clue on the body. Okay, and let's fingerprint the body. Fingerprints haven't helped us find out anything in this game. We've been constantly fingerprinting everything. We still haven't found anything. Nero? Nero is the murderer? And the note says, Physician, heal thyself, Hollister. Don't know who Hollister is. Don't know why Hollister is a physician who needs to heal himself. Is there... Ah, there's something else here. At least I think there was something else here. Perhaps I'm on the wrong side of this telescope. Yeah, there we go. Right side of the telescope gives you a unicorn thing. Okay, can I use that? Oh no, I can look at it. There's another telescope on the roof of the manor. Am I supposed to go to the roof of the manor and check out the telescope there? 
And this is the old coin, which Nancy's going to hang on to. Interesting. So... What now? Oh, is there a clue here? There's a hidden thing here as well? Somewhere here. Somewhere my clue will come. You'll notice as I get closer, the exclamation mark, I mean the question mark in the lower right hand corner indicates that I'm hot or cold. But now I'm just walking in every direction and it doesn't seem like it, it, it finds anything of, of substance. There we go. Jeez, that is really, really specific. And we've got rut march right, right where the footprints end. I don't know what that means. So something was being moved. In any case, we found the clue. Let's go back. Can't believe what I just found. Who would have killed Hollister like that? Wait, Hollister was killed? Hollister, is that Dr. Armstrong's name? I thought his first name was Brady. Maybe Abernathy was right. And what's Hollister's connection to Dr. Armstrong? Okay, so Hollister is not Dr. Armstrong. I can't keep track of this, this plot line. No, wait, now Hollister is Dr. Armstrong again. I can't. I can't. Okay. Oh, Wargrave is the culprit. And Hollister is Armstrong's real name. Okay, so somebody said, Dr. Heal Yourself. They were referring to Hollister, who is Dr. Armstrong. So apparently the murderer knows this top secret information. And now everybody's suspicious of Nancy? Whoa! And Abernathy is a villain? That's a problem, Pumpkin. Let the grown-ups talk. Okay, so Nancy... Wow. Wow. Okay, craziness has happened. Craziness has happened. We found a dead body and everybody's mad at Nancy. Hey, Greg. How's it going? Greg, I like you, but I'm a big girl. I don't need rescuing. I didn't mean to like that. I thought you could use some support, like my strong arms. Wait, supporting isn't something you do, it's something you are. <gasps> Philosophy from Nancy Drew. Yeah, so Nancy's just trying to let Greg down gently. Poor Greg. Anyway, now that we've got all the love stuff out of the way, let's let's see what he found. A cryptograph in Nero's room. Maybe maybe Nancy can solve it. And yeah, there were footprints at the lighthouse that don't make sense. Maybe Nero is a suspect. His fingerprints were on the corpse. Of course he's a suspect, Nancy. Why is this why is this even up for debate? I want to know. Yeah, gen generally when somebody is found, you know, by a corpse, I, I think that they're the suspect, the culprit. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Can I go through this door? And let's see if there's something suspicious here in Nero's room. How strange. There's a symbol near the ceiling. It looks like a gear. Oh, it's this puzzle again. Bad news, everybody. It looks like this is the final and most difficult of, of these symbol challenges, and there's no way I'm going to be able to solve it in under a minute. So I'm going to end the video here, and the next video, I'll go somewhere else, try something different. I'm going to go see that Mrs. Abernathy person. She seems really important now. Yeah, I mean, it's here on the touchscreen. I need to talk to Mrs. Abernathy. So I'm going to go uh, follow this Abernathy lead, and hopefully that will give me a clue to solve this puzzle on Nero's wall.